What's up, Reapers? Welcome back to the Crypt. This is CD Collection Part uh, 9. <sighs> Continuing where we uh, left off. <clears throat> Ceremony of Flesh of the Witch. Ceremony of Darkness. Excuse me, Flesh of the Witch. Um, my favorite album from them. Um, just very gothic and it's like a very gothic metal sort of vibe and. I love that. I mean, I love typo negative. Um, next up is my least favorite. This is Godheim. Just, I don't know, it didn't click with me as much. My second favorite and most uh, recent. Uh, the lesser key, although this is pretty lengthy, I mean, you have two discs, if I can actually, yeah, but, excuse me, still very good nonetheless. Next up is some slam, uh, cerebral engorgement, uh, cerebral chronicles. Really good release from um, Gore House. Who's like slamming brutal death metal sort of stuff. Um, I do like their album. I think cerebral engorgement had a uh, album called gastrointestinal bleeding. Something like that, but uh, next up is something from the Metal Box that I think is that is upside down. Chaos Echoes with Monument. I have not listened to this since I got that Metal bo uh, Metalhead Box. Like I listened to it, and then I just kind of put it on a back burner. I didn't really. Listen to it just a whole lot. It didn't really stick with me, but I'm keeping it just for the fact that I, don't know, I like going back to albums later on and whatnot. Next up is a split I love. I'm going to cover it. This is the split between Dehumanizing, I the Train of Worship, and Cheerleader Concubine called The Divine Union of Serrated flesh if you know this art then you know why i am censoring it um really good stuff i need to fix the case but um some uh good good songs on here from both bands i need to get more cheerleader concubine uh, next up is Chemicide with Common Sense. I actually got this in the Metalhead box. And that's funny because I actually found them through their shirt that they had in the Metalhead box. So, same year, same band, same wave. I don't fucking know. Good, good, just thrashy. Surfy sort of thrash. So, next up is more metalhead box stuff. Ch Children of Technology with the uh, apocalyptic compendium. All right, stuff. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that that looks exactly like the thing from uh, Motorhead albums, but. What do I know, right? 
Why am I putting these upside down? I just now realized that these are all upside down. For some reason. Because of that one. I just put the last three albums upside down. Habitually. Next up, Church of Disgust, the weakest is the flesh. I love Church of Disgust. I need to get more of their stuff. Really good death metal. Um, I can't even fucking yep. so they have like the most fitting name because I mean they give you some disgusting fucking tunes and it is worth it next up is Clit Gore with um the final cunt down some good like grindy brutal death metal sort of stuff Gore grind, porno grind as next up is more death metal, coffin mulch with spectral intercession. Really good album. Um and like I said, this would have been um this obviously could be applied into my and end of the year list I would delete that video and just redo it with the albums I have now now that I have a lot more of them but <sighs> that took forever to get out and then on top of that I have to dig out all my albums again and I have to and then I might leave some off. And I mean, I know that sounds stupid or whatever, but I don't want to have to redo it. But, you know, I mean, uh, great debut. I'm so glad I actually got the shirt from uh, the Metalhead box. Next up is a tribute album to Regurgitate called Comeback of the Gore Gods. This is basically like Gore Grind bands doing um, Regurgitate songs. I mean, you got Disgorge, uh, Hemorrhage, which is one of my favorite fucking bands. Uh, I, I like Bathtub Shitter. Um... Inhumans is really good. Gruesome Stuff Relish, everyone knows them. I think Lymphatic Plum sounds really familiar. Um, Spasm. Just overall really good stuff. I don't know what songs they are because I don't just spend a whole bunch of time with it actually another thing about it it might be no. yeah nothing in the booklet on what songs they are so um Honestly, I think, um, this would be, like, a really, this would be, like, a really good way to, like, show someone, like, what Gore Grind is really all about. Um, because you don't have just, like, Carcass and, um, and, like, these well-known bands. You have bands that I'm, like, okay. I don't hear just a whole bunch of people talking about hemorrhage or whatever. Next up, another one of my albums of the year last year. This is the 
Convalescence with Harvesters of Flesh and Bone. Really good dudes. I got this when I saw them opening for Signs of the Swarm and To the Grave. Survived a wall of death and a bunch of um, stage diving. So that was cool. I actually got a photo with um, Keith. Uh, which is this guy, I believe. But really nice dude. Overall. Um, really good, just like black and death sort of stuff. It's like really weird to explain. And finally, ending us off, we got Cradle of Filth with uh, Existence is Futile. Um, Crawling King Chaos and, um, Suffer Our Dominion are probably my favorite tracks on there, but not my favorite Cradle of Filth album. Um, I'm not huge into Cradle of Filth, but I do like their stuff, so I want to get the rest of it whenever I can. Um, Dusk in Her, Dusk in Her Embrace might be my favorite, but I don't know. Um... Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, keep it grim.